Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Oh. That one does not build a wall on the eve of the invading hordes. Cha. Come, come, my friends. Come, come. Join me. Join me as we head down to the beach for our cold plunge. First thing, Monday morning. It's currently 3.5 degrees out here and I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be like in the water. But I'll let you know. <laughs> We're going to find out here. The mindset is that this is a lifetime process. Jumping in this ocean right now isn't for right now. It's for tomorrow. And largely next year. Five years time, ten years time. That's what this is all about. We don't do these things just for today, but for tomorrow. Underwear, water, let's go. We're gonna back it up. Ah! Whoa, okay. Maybe not back it up. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna walk forward because if I walk backwards, I'm probably gonna fall over. What I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the preparation mindset. Ha! Huh. We're uh, about knee deep at the moment and it's just using my phone. Ha! Ah, on the balls. I'm not sure what freezing temperature is. But my legs have now gone numb. Quads have gone numb. <sighs> Breathing rate's okay though. And we've just gone past the first sandbank. So, that's a bit brutal. I'd rather just get to waist deep immediately so I can just dive in. But it's not quite deep enough for me to dive in yet. See, look, we just got sandbank now. So the whole idea of this cold plunging is that it's a thousand times, ten thousand times more difficult than a cold shower. Now, the water has gotten down to my balls. We're getting ways deep, so this is plunge worthy. Ha, okay, so I wanna make sure my phone does not fall out. Hold up, I felt, I felt my phone, I felt my phone shaking. Okay, that's not good. Okay, try it again. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, oh shit, ah, oh. oh, this is, this is 9,000 times worse than the welcome video. On Energy Podcast, go ahead and follow that, subscribe to that. Oh, there's a cheeky girl on the beach right now just jogging along, wrapped up in a little Katmandu jumper. I hope you're warm. <laughs> just talking shit. <laughs> Just talking shit to random strangers. My body is actually burning from the cold. Even though it looks so much more beautiful out here, it looks so warm out here. It's not. It is way colder down there. Oh, that was... If I imagine, like, can I compare that to my most brutal ice baths? That was insane. Like, the, the, the burn. The burn on my skin right now is way more intense. I'm gonna get under the water here, so... Well, not my face, but... The rest of it, we'll see if we can have some coherent thoughts. Okay. Okay. I'm good. It just takes a little moment to stabilize on the neck. On the neck. <laughs> you get fucking silly up in this. You gotta get silly. I just want to make sure my phone does not go in this water. Technically, the S9 is waterproof. I don't trust that shit. I don't trust that shit at all. This is a real cold plunge right now, now that we're fully submerged. Now, let's get the lesson of today out. All these things we do today aren't for today, but for tomorrow. I was preparing for this cold plunge 2.3 years ago. You know, when people ask me, like, Adam, how do you do these daily cold showers every single morning? To me, they aren't cold showers anymore. It's just a shower. When this is the decision you make for your entire life and you commit to it for your entire life, well, it's no longer cold. Now, I don't just mean that physiologically, obviously you adapt, but it's a psychological commitment. It's a psychological mindset that there never will be a warm shower. So now everything is just the same. And it's the preparation mindset. I think I was talking about with you guys on the beach. The preparation mindset is this. 
that one does not build a wall on the eve of the invading hordes. You don't start preparing the day before you need to be ready. You start preparing when? 20 years ago. Chinese proverb. When was the best time to build a tree? 20 years ago. When's the second best time? Today. When was the best time to start your cold shower or your cold therapy? 20 years ago. When's the second best time? Right now. When was the best time to start working on your social skills, your social dynamics? Or that means going out there in the day, meeting people, going there at night, meeting people. 20 years ago. Second best time right now. Okay, not with the COVID. Not with the COVID, but you know what I'm saying, when COVID's over. My point is that this cold plunge I'm taking right now in this freezing water, and just to give you guys an update, my entire body's going full numb now. My entire body is burning. It's actually burning. And this is what an ice bath feels like. The absolute burn. You probably can't tell, but my skin's actually going red. But the sun's kind of blocking that. You can't see it. Oh, there. There you can feel the shakes. <laughs> That's the real shakes. That's the real shakes. Look at that. <laughs> Get me back in that water. Oh, shit. It's better to be numb. When you're taking a cold plunge, uh, don't be coming. Don't be dropping in and out. See, like, my hand's shaking big time now because we went out. To stay under. Well, listen, we're in the second week of winter here in Australia. And I'm going to do at least one of these cold plunges in the ocean every single week for the next 12 weeks. Uh, that just seems like a good thing to do. I've never done that before. Most winter seasons, I will cold plunge at least once every second week. There was never a commitment. I'm making a different commitment. It's getting hard to talk now. My jaw is starting to... <laughs> My jaw is starting to lock up. So we need to head back out. But hey, hopefully you guys got something from this. All these things we do today, they aren't for today, but for tomorrow. So find the way, find your way in this life. Find the things that you're gonna do that will prepare you for five years, 10 years time. But that's your nutrition, the things you put in your mouth. Yes, of course you stop eating processed food today because it's gonna make you feel better tomorrow. But how much better is it gonna make you feel in five years, 10 years? My jaw is shaking. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get out of here. Ooh. Okay, that's my limit. We're gonna head back to the beach. You guys can see how beautiful that sunrise is this morning. Ooh. Also, I just want to point out that the cold plunge you do in the ocean is much better than an ice bath because even though you can probably get an ice bath colder, just the sheer amount of ice you can put in it. You can't get that level of salt. And it's the salt that helps your body to repair. When I go back home now, I'm gonna jump straight into a sauna, into a deep steam bath, and your muscles are just gonna go, oh shit, oh, there's a bag. And my muscles are gonna go like jelly. A deep steam. That's a good combo. Kind of good sauna. Look at that. Look at what's going on here. And just have a quick tip. What's most important with the cold plunge is not necessarily to have your face under the whole time, but just to be up to the neck. That's a real safety tip with these cold plungers. Uh, don't fap around when you get back onto the beach. Get your warm clothes back on. Otherwise, that's, that's when you, you really start to get hypothermia. Now, there's not much... There's not much in the way of wind this morning, so I'm very lucky. But when it's windy out here, the wind will kill you more than the water will. Because it's just like the added combo. So as was the lesson for today, my friends, we cold plunge today so that we are prepared tomorrow and largely more for the rest of our lives in a week's time, a year's time, 10 years time. The cold shower and the cold plunge, sorry, that I just did right now. I'll think back in 10 years and go, oh, I was ready. I was preparing. <laughs> Look at the shakes. Look at the shakes. <laughs> that is my head trembling. <laughs> Just after I got done telling you guys to get your warm clothes on. Please drop a thumbs up down below. Most appreciate that. Share this with someone. And like I've been doing, hashtag eternal energy on Instagram when you do your own cold plunge and tag me in it at uitang1. I'll be happy to share that, repost that on my profile. My lips are going fucking numb, my jaw is going numb. <laughs> uh, 
Shout out to uh, Adrian and Mason. They were the first guys to submit their cold plunge. You ready? Yep. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my god! What a couple of lads, powerful lads, getting in on this cold shower, cold plunge action, cold therapy. So yeah, and also drop me some comments below. Get engaged with me down there, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here. Ciao! Oh.